All right, so we're starting off with hand lock today. Something a bit different. Uh, you might have heard me say in the past, I'm not uh, not a huge fan of the deck. I uh, tend to not enjoy its play style all that much. But that being said, I wanted some way of shaking things up here. Uh, like I said, I, I like the suggestions, but I want things that are still uh, still somewhat competitive. Uh, so for anyone who's interested in watching, we've now opened up a suggestions uh, section, channel, I guess, uh, on Discord. This came from, uh, from a suggestion from, uh, I gotta make sure I get the name right. It is Akagi, okay. Uh, so yeah, suggestion from Akagi. Uh, I know he said he played a lot of handlock. This is the list that he does. Doesn't run a siphon soul. So some things that are uh, a bit different, a bit atypical. Um, so yeah, that's that's what we're starting with here today. Uh, and then we're gonna go into freeze mage, which was uh, another suggestion. From Discord, uh, from a guy whose name I can't quite read because of the font, but it's much appreciated anyway. Um, now I won't claim to be good at this deck at all. I feel like getting the Twilight out is a big deal. Mountain Giants aren't going to be as big in this matchup because of Hunter's Mark. Uh, and I know that this matchup in general is an unfavored one. So, yeah, we'll just see how this goes. But yeah, uh, all the all the decks that are listed in that suggestion section on Discord, like if you've, you've got ideas, just go there, plop something in. You don't even have to stay in the Discord channel beyond that. Uh, if it's not your thing, uh, I certainly don't mind. But... Uh, but I'm going to be periodically kind of moving through that to take a look at uh, what we what we might want to play. So I don't know what the move here is. We could just Argus this, which I don't mind. If we hit, we'll have six. Feels pretty good with another Argus. We could also just heal hit. Which I don't mind too much, but I think I think Argus is going to be the play here. This could actually be a powerful Shadow Flame target, uh, or we could just drop the Earth and Ring next turn. See how much damage you can push here. You always got to be worried about kill commands. And okay, one on the Drake isn't that bad. Hmm. Ooh, and with the Molten, I gotta think it's Shadow Flame, right? Hit Shadow Flame, drop the Molten. Feels pretty good. Tough to get that Mountain Giant out in this matchup. Ooh. What do we got here? This card's gonna be a big deal. Okay. Um, more questions, actually. I think it's Iron Beak Argus. We lose to a draw to kill command, but if we heal here with the Farseer, uh, I don't think that really buys us anything because we can't taunt, so. Yeah, as long as he doesn't draw a kill command here, I think we're fine. We've got 11, 17, yeah, we've got lethal here. So sick. Wow, our first 
First game of handlock since classic, and it's a win. Very nice. Well, I gotta say, I'm a bit surprised uh, that we won against the face hunter there. I think that matchup is pretty difficult just because, uh, you know, they can keep, like, hero powering down and down, like, through your taunts, and they push so much damage so fast, it's, yeah, it's just tough to be able to pull that off. Yeah, I think this week, so we'll see. I, I was considering uh, having the tournament uh, this coming weekend. I'm thinking it's probably going to be the following weekend, the weekend of the 29th. Again, there's going to be like an avi official video uh, coming out uh, when we do decide to. Um, but I think this week's probably going to be more about like deck guides and some other videos will be thrown up on YouTube. Uh, you need Molten to win against Face Hunter? Yeah, we we were lucky enough to get a Molten there, which was great. Uh, I have no idea how to mulligan with this deck at all. I feel like we throw it all away and try to get Drakes uh, or Mountain Giants. Interesting. I think actually we might have played this guy before. He just plays an aggro rogue as opposed to uh, a miracle. So if that's the case, I suppose this could actually come in handy here. Uh, I think I'd rather just draw. One tap, I don't mind against uh, against aggro decks here. We can still coin the Drake out. Oh shit! But we're gonna get milled by Mukla. Ah, eh, that's a bad one too. Uh, okay. Well, still gonna do this. Yeah, that really hurts losing the molten. Gonna lose something else too. Earth Ring's a nice one to get. That's the only one we're going to. So we got a few options here. Hellfire's not bad, uh, but we have to run the Drake in there. We could also banana, kill off Mukla, and maybe drop a Farseer. Hmm. Take a lot of damage off that way. Be getting the immediate heal there. Hope he's got the option to soul fire too. I actually don't hate the owl here. Maybe that's the play. You know, I think I like this. I don't want to get milled further. This takes some damage off. We've still got one Molten in the deck. Um, and and this is a, enough that uh, it might become playable if he just goes off face. Really gonna need taunt activators here though. So hoping we can climb up, uh, what, below 200? I didn't play any off stream, so uh, the drop in rank has just been by, by other people passing us. Okay, not too bad. 
really hesitant to throw out a soul fire at all. Kind of tough. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know that we want to. Well, we could soul fire though. You know, I think this is probably going to be the play. I think we do bump, because he's going to have saps. You want to get value out of this while you can. Um, but I might actually end up, like, using faceless here. His best way to get through this is probably going to be a blade flurry, and then he's got to get rid of his whole weapon. Yeah, this is the sap, okay. Gonna be real tough to survive here. And fortunately no wombo combo there. Uh, so, I mean, we can Drake, we can heal, we can soul fire. He's going to have at least eight. So you'd only have to find one more damage. Uh, that might be our only option. Well, eight, uh, that's true. We can bump that into there. I guess it's only six. I think it's the play. Don't mind getting rid of that. We're probably dead, like an eviscerate kills us, but... Or Leroy. Kind of unfortunate, facing two, uh... Yeah, right, we get two super aggro decks right off the bat, but... One and one, anyway. Yeah, I was not expecting that mill. I'll have to keep that in mind if we uh, if we face that guy again, because we often face the same same people when we're decently high in rank. Yeah, I kind of want to try, uh, or see how this stacks up against, like, a Druid, even a Miracle Rogue, some of the more common matchups. It's probably going to be Zoo. I'm just tired of facing Zoo. Gotta think Moltens are good. Boy, I really don't know how to mulligan. Ancient Watcher's great if you can taunt it up. You can drop that on two. Potentially coin that. Let's see, Mortal Coils would be good. I mean, we try something like that. I mean, I really haven't played any kind of handlock. Not even like Reno or anything like that in like, you know, six years. Basically, since the game had first come out, I think I played the original version of Handlock like this, just a, well, a handful of times, if you will. And that was really it. Let's do this. I'm not sure if it's better to tap there or not. We've got the Hellfire for four. So maybe it would have just been better to tap and prepare for uh No, interesting. You really don't want to get rid of that. Oof, that is so good though. 
think we actually do that. Coin it out, taunt them next turn, build up to a soul fire, and then our later guys. No Black Knight or Sunwalker? Well, I didn't build the deck, so, uh, so that's why. Yeah, this was, uh, this was Akagi's handlock. He says he plays a lot. I trust that he knows what he's doing. Because I do not. Alright, both Moltens. I also buy some time. I don't want a Soul Fire because there's too much that's, uh, that's gonna hurt to discard. But I'm guessing this is gonna buy us some time. Uh -oh. uh, well, this might be a little more immediate than I thought. I was gonna say I'm guessing this will buy us some time and then we can uh, Hellfire later, but I guess we're just doing it right now. Brute some more, got a juicy paladin, went four and three, two losses were straight, BS. Like a rag hitting me with five minutes on board when you had lethal next turn. I, I think that's just called Hearthstone. Uh, oh, so good. Just do that for sheer hilarity. feel like we win. Yeah, always happy to check them out. Uh, in general, I don't know if you're a Discord guy, but you're, you're here all the time. In general, I'm just going to be taking deck submissions on uh, on Discord there, but I don't mind if you plop them into chat. I'll paste them into the Discord myself uh, if I have to, just so I have like a running list of stuff to go through. Well, I feel like we just drew very well there, but feeling a little more comfortable with this deck after a few games. Hey, Tadros, going pretty well. Had our had our day off yesterday. Was thinking of doing some recording, uh, but I did fucking nothing yesterday and it was uh it's pretty nice did some work on artifacts i guess i didn't do completely nothing uh, but the break was much needed six days a week of streaming sometimes just a, a bit much uh, 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 not gonna need that i don't think we need that Uh, that's just the sad thing about handlock, easy win against aggro, double molten in time, otherwise it's almost a free loss. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, I'm still kind of learning here. I know against Hunter, like we played a Hunter the first game, that we won, we got one molten. Um, there's some other kind of clever tricks you can do, but it's, uh... Yeah, it seems very draw dependent, and that's a big part of the reason why I, uh, wasn't that big of a fan of the deck uh, when I played it previously. Alright, let me save this list somewhere uh, somewhere else across the... There we go. I'll plot that in the Discord or something. Uh, let's see, at the end of last stream we had a Agro Warrior deck, but you didn't play it. Interesting seeing how it does. Uh, yeah, that, that was, what, Villain Like Doom, I believe, gave me the deck. I don't think it's going to stack up very well in Legend, just from my, uh, my approximation. If I was to guess, I, I feel like, uh, it's not going to be that great. I feel like it's right to run this out. Um... So I didn't want to run it here. I'm probably going to play something similar to that. I've had another viewer uh, submit a deck that looks kind of similar. Um, so I'll probably play one or both at like the season reset and give it a go. 
Um, but we did play like a weapon warrior once before and just there's so many matchups it, it does really poorly against it yeah and unless i drop to like a really crap legend by the end of the season and i stop caring about my rank uh, I'm, I'm probably gonna hold off on playing it so yeah you might have to uh might have to build the list on your own if you're you're interested in seeing it Could you on your Discord against the list is getting kind of long. There's so much stuff, so many people now uh, throwing stuff out. And yeah, decent number of people actually in the Discord. Hopefully it'll grow a bit more. Uh, do I prefer Draxus over Rag? Uh, so I didn't build this list. This was Akagi, uh, and I can actually tell you what he said. Now, there's Sakrasta. He commented on Jaraxxus uh, specifically. Okay, that's annoying. Now let me think about this for a second. I feel like it's worth getting a Sun Fury out for the body. Again, I like a Soul Fire could be good here. Because we've got so many duplicates, but I really don't want to discard that. Um, so he said Jaraxxus is the most questionable card. Uh, and he might want to swap it out for something else. But that's just kind of what he was running. I wanted to run Jaraxxus today, because I think Jaraxxus is cool. Um, but is it better than Reg? Not... Uh, not sure. I, I'm not experienced enough with Handlock to know. I'll, I'll just say I don't think Jaraxxus is that good of a card. That's probably the best answer I can give you. Now, I think I silenced this. I don't want to give him the card draw here. I actually don't like spending the mana there, though. However, that's not too bad. Drop it there for the best taunt uh, potential. I think Handlock really wants something to get their belt health back to 15. Healing the class is really bad. You take so much damage from your own spells. So Alex, yeah, I, I mean, Jaraxxus and Alex uh, are a little bit similar. The problem with Jaraxxus is you often can't do anything with him. It's like, even if the board is completely empty, you play Jaraxxus for 9 mana, you, you can't hero power, you swing your weapon, right, for 3 or whatever. Um, Alright, we're going to have to Shadow Flame this. And a lot of people... Oh, we could Shadow Flame that instead. Sure. Boy, we got to keep in mind, we got... A lot of damage. We got like 16 damage just sitting here. Holy shit. Um, but yeah, a lot of people can, can burst you down very, very quickly. Like 14 from a druid's easy. Innervate's 15. Uh, Fiery War Axe Gromash is, is 15. So like, you kind of have to have like taunts up or something on the board when you play them. And if you're in that position, you're usually already doing pretty good. It's not really Jaraxxus that often wins you the game. A lot of times he's just kind of a, a win more card. But I think he's fine. Like, he's not a bad card by any means. But, uh, yeah, I don't, like, love him. Not sure what to do here. So close to lethal. Can do 17 damage. So here we get. We just need one thing on the board to survive. This doesn't have spell power to boost any kind of blade flurry. This feels fine. 
I sound a lot like your friend. Maybe, maybe we are friends in a, in a different universe. I feel like I have a really goofy voice. It's like a really scratchy Kermit the Frog voice. But your friend sounds like a sexy gentleman. Uh, you like your access free win if you ever play him against control deck and don't die next turn. Yeah, if you can if you can pull it off, he's great. Against faster decks, get enough value to send your health to fifteen. I suppose that's true, because I'm usually playing uh I'm usually playing control decks. So when I'm playing against Jiraxis, that's what I'm seeing. Okay, no blade flurry, and then then we're good. But yeah, maybe like the health reset against a, a hunter or a zoo really is worth it. Again, I'm just not uh, not experienced enough with the deck. I'm surprised we're actually winning games, so I kind of just thought we'd be like losing on stream. You guys would see me uh, struggling like crazy. Of course, we're not ranking up even when we win, but Guess it's a slow, slow legend grind. What's up, Moore's Worst? Always with the cool cat. Uh, why two faceless and two power overwhelming? I'm not an expert, but I think you could swap this out for some other cards. Leave one of each, of course. Uh, so this is Akagi's deck. Um, he said he plays like a lot of hand lock. He kind of swears by the cut siphon soul to be able to put those in. Um, honestly, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm just kind of trusting his word. Uh, I really haven't played much handlock at all. So I, I don't know if it's... I'm hoping I'll just kind of see through play uh, what ends up being the benefit of those. But yeah, I don't know if like your main faceless targets are your own taunts or... Uh, you know, are they just decent in control mirrors where you can faceless their other stuff? Uh, power overwhelming, obviously, it's going to give you a little bit more reach for for burst. But um, yeah, it's also tough because I realize you can't like Leroy double power overwhelming faceless because uh, that's eleven mana. I guess if you got coin, sure. So yeah, still still figuring it out. Whoa, cool, cool. Would there be any reason to silence that? I don't think so. This is interesting. Two faces, two power overwhelming, or for a really high chance to combo at 10 mana. Yeah, it does improve consistency. Wow, this is wild. Whatever this guy's playing. I want to see more of it. Very interesting. Deck looks really tight, as in you have a lot of duplicates. Not saying it's bad. Yeah, I don't know. I'm really not sure. He said he was having success, and uh, well, we're gonna gonna find out together why or if we can succeed. Okay, well, I feel like we gotta get some taunts up here. Not really sure what he would give charge there that would be like super necessary of killing that thing, but this guy's running Blood Knight, so I have no goddamn clue what we're up against. Super interesting. Whatever this is, this is very cool. Lots of options. So we could faceless our own taunt. If we do that, we can run the 2 3 in and mortal coil. We can silence the berserker. Savannah's power overwhelming is cute. Yeah, that's kind of a cool, cool combo as well. 
Uh, you could just Drake Silence. I don't really like that. I feel like if we face this, this, this thing, it's fine. Yeah, I don't really like any of those other plays. I'd really like to get this out. I'd really like to silence that. But I think we're going to start here. I'm worried that he's going to run like an owl or something. It seems like a very aggressive deck. Uh, so yeah, if he's got any kind of silence, I don't want him to just like kill me immediately. Uh, is it possible for a new deck to come from Classic that wasn't a thing before? I'm pretty sure there's no chance, but maybe. I know it sounds stupid. It doesn't sound stupid at all. I, I, I've got lots of uh, lots of thoughts on that, actually, that I'll share in a minute here. I feel like I'm going to have to think a lot for this, this next turn, so be patient with me. So we can play a little bit risky. I don't know what that one mana card would have been. She was looking at like an inner rage execute or something crazy. We could, oh geez, we could actually do some really crazy shit. I know we just faceless a ton, but you could even like Iron Beak run this in, which I don't hate. I like Sylvanas. I don't know, Drake, Silence, run that in, looks pretty good, and then you can re-taunt a Sylvanas Drake next turn. Ooh. Ooh. Nasty. Let's see, hopefully he doesn't have that much burst. Better Shaman? Uh, yeah, could have better Shaman deck. So, yeah, I, I think... um. When it comes to classic, I think we've already seen some decks that are a little bit different than before. Um, now, are they like the best decks possible, or are they, you know, super top tier or whatever? I don't think so. Okay, I think I think we just do this then. No Sylvanas. Super vulnerable to like whirlwind, but whatever. Nah, I think this is still good. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if they're like super top tier or whatever, but that uh, like that Argon Mage that we played. Uh, oh shit! Really double mortal strike. Oh my god! We had Jaraxxus next turn. So sad. Um, yeah, he, he was playing that at High Legend. Uh, he was having success with it. We had some success with it. Like, uh, I think we probably were at a positive win rate. Or right around that 50%. Like 50 to 55, something like that. Uh, I think the Antonitis list we put together, like that was different. Um, but I think part of it comes from like, you know, just given more time, people are going to experiment with different things. I mean, this deck we just saw this warrior guy play was absolutely bonkers. No idea if that's any good. Um, so yeah, give anything more time, people are going to figure out or like finer tune some optimizations. Uh, but as well, I think just because, you know, the meta is not necessarily a stagnant thing, there's always the opportunity for uh, for one deck to be more prevalent than... Uh, than it normally would be then all of a sudden like counter decks to that can pop up and if counter decks to that pop up Well, then that spawns the generation of new decks and that kind of thing So I think it's always going to be turning a bit even without uh, the introduction of, of newer cards uh, Every time I think of handlock I can only think of the Angoro Trump's plant lock love that deck like my mother I'm unfamiliar with the deck um, Plant lock what would that even be? I don't remember much of Angoro. I don't know if I actually played that expansion much. There was a time where I basically had stopped playing, but uh, would I watch Hearthstone still? I think that might have been it. Uh, or that might have fallen into the just watching period. I can link... 
uh, link you it if you allow links. It wasn't popular at all. Yeah, sure, link it. If, if there's anything that doesn't allow links, it's just a default thing in my chat. But I'm pretty sure, pretty sure it's good for it. Angoro was the second best expansion. Was it really? What what was so good about Angoro? Literally all I remember was Elise. Right? She was the one that like gave you a, a card pack that would open. Oh yeah. See this is why I kept the faceless. I figured they could have some big shit. What do we do on our own stuff, but boy that's obnoxious. The meta was the best. Was it like control heavy then? Because usually that's what people are clamoring for is, you know, ah, there's too much aggro. If only we had a control mid. Quest Rogue. I hated Quest Rogue. Okay, no, I did play this expansion then. If that's what that was, I did play the quest stuff a little bit. Not very heavily. Uh, yeah, I hated that. I absolutely hated it. Add only Belcher the game, not all Nax. Yeah, that was always fine. Uh, seems he updated it a bit, a bit in gadgets in. Alright, let me... Take a quick look at this. Three damage to all the characters. Okay, interesting. Uh, well, I think we just... Plop this down. Sound Fury Doomsayer, Ancient Watch, Mistress of Mixtures. Oh, yeah, yeah. Humongous Razor Leaf. Oh, okay. Now I understand the plant portion of the lock. Uh, uh, uh. We could, like, hit and heal this thing. I don't think it's as good though. I think we just plop this down, hit here, and try to faceless this. Uh, faceless Shambler. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I recognize some of these cards. Yeah, that, that's actually a pretty interesting list. I could see that being a, a pretty effective one. Lots of the, you know, cannot attack sort of things, but. Uh, You know, you can like taunt them up or silence or whatever. I love that Quest Rogue was a thing because it made Exodia Mage games really challenging and puzzling for me. Ex oh, right. Exodia Mage with like the molten whatever. That thing was pretty crazy. All right, what do we do here? Been an autopilot a little bit here. Again, we could heal the giant. Maybe that's how we do it. Are we at any risk if we go down to 12 health? I don't think so. I feel like I'm comfortable there. Wow, that's cool. I like that. So we could do that. Yeah, no, I do. I like that. We'll do that. We'll run that in. Hit face. Get up a couple big taunts. Hopefully faceless that. Pretty neat. Nice. Wow, this deck is doing doing quite well. I hope uh hope Akagi gets a chance to view it. Wow this game just loves this 213. Like I said, I, I didn't play any off streams. So anything that's happened to my MMR has just been the influence of other people doing stuff, but Seems like there's a big jump from me to the next bit. It's gonna be really unfortunate. Like, I, I'm hoping this season we can actually make a push for High Legend. But it's gonna be unfortunate if, like, I only play two or three hours a day. 
Are we just going to continue to drop even if we have a positive win rate? Uh, am I playing on NA? Yes. Have you played against Freeze Mages with this deck? And how have they went? Nope, today is our first day with this deck at all. Uh, and no Freeze Mages so far. So, yeah, couldn't tell you. I gotta think that that's a tough matchup, though. That being said, we don't play many Freeze Mages. We're gonna play some uh, ourselves today. But, yeah, we really haven't faced many, like, since Classic came out. I, I don't know if I've even played like 10 Freeze Mage games. So I'm not actually sure what you're supposed to do here. My gut tells me you're supposed to tap go for slightly bigger drakes and save the farce here. I know that this is good to run out in some matchups. I gotta think Rogue uh, and maybe Warrior. Interesting. Ah, he does have the innervate. Son of a bitch. Okay, well. Try it again. Okay, that's not as bad. I saw his mana dip by four, and I was like, oh my god, it's happening. Oh. Loot hoarder, okay. Changes the play slightly, but I think that's just only in that we start with Mortal Coil. Interesting. Did we drop that and the farce here? Because you can Articus it next to it. I actually like that instead of tap. We're not in desperate need. Like, no mountain giants yet. And I, I don't think he's going to opt to trade. Unless maybe he's got like a wrath with that. Uh, maybe hero power. Maybe I'm mistaken. Uh, is it Hearthstone, or are you hosting a house party? I can hear a lot of chattering in the background. Oh. There's a TV show in the background that my girlfriend is watching. That might be what you're hearing. Uh, also, all the windows are open because it's, like, super hot here now. And we're just in an apartment, so... Uh... So it's probably a combination of the two. Apologies if it's uh, distracting. That Canadian heat, I know, I know. We get it like one or two weeks out of the year. I understand, it's no problem, it's just wondering. Yeah, it's it's too bad, like, I really want a like dedicated streaming room. And we've kind of talked about it, like, we've got a, a spare bedroom where we could, you know, try to... Try to turn it into that, but even then, that would be a little, little awkward. Um, and we're probably looking at moving, like next year or something. So hopefully next year we'll actually have a place with a room where I can have sort of a dedicated office, because like that's the door to the the hallway. Uh, so there's often a lot of foot traffic there as well. Not exactly sure what the play is here. I think it's tap molten giant. Especially if you get into a mortal coil. Ooh. Alright, that's fine. Sets up for some nice uh, faceless options in the coming turns. 
I think you could put a green screen behind you and put some of those uh, echo cancel foam things. We're not dead, right? Um, yeah, the problem with the green screen, because I've considered it, I don't know what those noise canceling things are you're talking about, though. Sorry, one sec. We have lethal. Jeez, I didn't even see it. Hey. Um, yeah, the problem with the green screen is it, it's going to be a lot of, like, put up and tear down kind of thing. Because, like I said, if the, that's the door to the hallway, it's like that's where people are coming in and out. And we've also got, like, the laundry room there, which we've got to have, like, uh, some back and forth during the stream and stuff. So, I don't know. I've considered it. Maybe I'll do it in this place. Um, one of the things that's uh, it's probably going to happen is my girlfriend will end up going back to Korea for like five months. She's going to take um, like a training course over there and, and visit family and stuff for quite a while. And I'm going to be stuck here in Canada alone. So that'll kill some of the noise. And then if I do want to do stuff like that, uh, it's a little bit easier because I'll be the only one in the house. So. We'll see, but that, that's not going to be for a few more months, I think. Got to get travel opened up and all the vaccination stuff uh, handled first. Well, this might be your freeze mage answer. Now, it is possible that this is like a tempo mage. You sometimes see it. So I don't know if the soul fire would be good to keep, but I'm just going to throw it back. I like this guy's name too, Protoss. I played Protoss in StarCraft 1 and 2, so big fan. Definitely looks like Freeze Mage. Uh, which means I guess like you're gonna want to hold on to that for quite some time. Ancient Watchers really don't do much. Uh, is Rag a good alternative to Jaraxxus? I'm not totally sure. I can't. No. Uh, oh. Jesus. I guess we just pass. That's uh. It's kind of lame. Uh, yeah, I'm not an expert in, in this deck by any means, uh, but the guy who built it, Akagi, said that Jaraxxus was the most questionable card, so that kind of tells me that, yeah, Reg is probably a good option to, uh, to replace Jaraxxus. Either if you just don't like him, or, uh, do you even get this out? I feel like you do. Like you kind of want stuff in your hand, but you also want the ability to tap to draw. Hmm. I guess we Hellfire to push some damage here. Can we tap? Sure. Not overdrive, okay. Yeah, I feel like either one of those two is a good option. Yeah, I, I'm just like so out of touch with uh, with Handlock that I couldn't say, but you know, just from a, a general Hearthstone knowledge point of view, Seems like it would be a good option, anyway. Same kind of thing. I think I'll just run this out to clear my hand out a bit. Don't really care about one extra health on the Drake by keeping that. Here, only Leroy can win you the match. I'll, I'll take your word for it. I mean, for sure it's going to help for... Uh, uh, 
when everything's frozen, just being able to push some damage. That's before ice block. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I guess you get this out. Push as much damage as you can. It does seem like a tough matchup to win. At least we've got these heals, though. Uh, so, I mean, I guess he's not real keen on playing Alex. But, uh, yeah. Pretty tough matchup, to be honest. Impossible. Huh. Yeah, I mean, that's, uh, that's bad. If we can get a silence here. That's not a silence. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, he has damage, just waits for mana. Yeah, seems, uh, seems like it would be tough. But hey, we get to be the freeze mages later, so. That's alright. Well, there's your ice block. Feels fine, I guess. Alright, here's what we do. We Faceless Antonitis, play our spells, and win with Fireballs. Man, it might actually be a fine play. Is it the best play? Probably not. No, try something else. I mean, we got, like, nothing else good to... The police are coming to get me. Didn't cheat any mana. Hey, we're not playing Druid here. The right play was 3 HP. I feel like we're dead either way, but maybe. I'll take your word for it. A Sylvan Power Word Shield, that's interesting. Do we even drop this? Because it'll just die. Uh, okay, hold on. Let me do a little math here. We've got 17 there. Okay, let's, let's do it this way. Because we're not playing Molten Giant. Oh, man. Power word kill fourteen. Okay. Uh, yeah, order there is fine. Can't proc it with a Draxus play. I guess you're just doing that. Oh right, I could have swung my weapon. So stupid. 
uh, lots of stuff to catch up on. I don't think the three health would have been very relevant. Yeah, I don't think so. And again, I think we're just dead anyway. Um, but I got you. I see what you're saying with the, especially the Sylvanas power uh, overwhelming thing. That's interesting. Uh, I'm think I think I'm tripping, but how did you get Antonidas since you have Sylvanas in hand? Faceless. Yeah. You lovely man. Ask for Freeze Mage and behold Handlock and Freeze Mage. Oh, that's you. Okay. Yes, absolutely. We're going to be running your list uh, once we're done with Handlock here. Okay, I gotta think these two are good keeps. Ah, uh, hug right back, Zero. Yeah, I'm not super experienced with Freeze Mage either, so probably gonna make uh, a number of mistakes, but I feel like just intuitively, I'm better with those kinds of decks than uh, than something like this. Here's all but Draxus, but if he plays <laughs> if he plays Pact, if he plays Pact, he deserves to win though. I mean that's like let's be real. I'm I'm happy to lose to a guy that plays Sacrificial Pact. It's out no one. What is this? Owl 2019 Transcendence. What is that? It, it's like half monkey, half robot. I don't know. I like it though. Zoo lot. Classic. Yeah, you bet. We, we face tons of zoo. Tons of zoo. If you haven't seen before. Now I'm trying to think here what the best plays are. I think what I want to do is like get this and this out and then taunt the following turn. So I think it's fine to do this for now. Hope to... Oh, we could even do like this, this, this. But hope to hit like a mortal coil for this or something to be mana efficient. It's just a robot. Alright, I'm reading too much into this. So we take nine. Oof. Not fun. I think you have to. Freeze Mage is simple. Also makes rogues upset frequently, which is nice. Okay, okay. Auto lose the warrior. Yeah, pretty pretty aware of that. Even the because we we played some variations of mage, uh, and yeah, even just the ones that we played were like. You get pretty much no chance in the matchup. Okay, I don't think we can go Twilight, and I don't think we can go Defender even. This feels like Iron Beak Sun Fury. Now, what's better to Iron Beak, the the Gnome or the Golem? I kind of feel like the Gnome. Mitigate direct damage over a 2-1. Because we, we might clear out the 2-1 with, uh, with a spell, like a board clear spell. I don't know. Uh, I like the Warlock's card back, one of my faves. Yeah, I'll take a closer look at it. It's pretty cool. Silence it? Well, I silence something. Unless you meant silence this. Because I feel like we're dead if we silence that and run it into something. The right one. Okay. Yikes. I think we're desperate enough. So sick, right? Uh, if a deck beats Druid in this format, then it's a good deck. That's a uh, decently fair statement. 
Didn't you say you're doing a classic tourney? Yeah, I am going to be doing one. I, I was originally going to make it for uh, for the 22nd, 23rd, but I think the current plan is 29th and 30th, and I'll be doing like an official video for spreading all that uh, that information, but yes, that's that's the plan. Well, all we could do is Sun Fury Shadow Flame. Uh, I think it keeps us alive, right? By one. Oh, two, right. Yeah, we're going to be doing it. We're going to have... It's going to be like modified classic. I, I was really, really split between this coming weekend and, uh, and the weekend after. Um, but this way it gives me a little bit more time to prepare. I think we're going to be... Um, we're going to be recording some more uh, kind of deck guides. I've got an idea for another video I, I kind of want to put out. Um, and then I think it also just gives more time. To, the the audience has grown at a decent rate. And I think the more people that we uh, that we can expose it to, the better. So, uh, Plus the end of the season, people might be kind of hankering for something new. I think it'll be fun to watch. The, the idea I've got for for the format I think it's going to be a lot of fun and it's going to be uh, going to be very like silly as well uh, I, well, I'll talk about it more in that video but it, it is going to be low production value we're going to do interviews with the players and it's going to be like you know I don't want to know about like why you built the deck or you know what cards you chose uh, I just want to have like a goofy silly interview can't wait to give you my sub when it refreshes. Too kind, Zero. Too kind. But I'll be happy to take it. Every deck has to play Millhouse, now that's crazy. See, I, I wouldn't mind uh, going into some of the uh, some of the sillier stuff going forward. Uh, like, you know, Nose... What, what is it? Nose Dormu? Uh, yeah, sure. Millhouse, uh, Warwalker Cho, all those kinds of goofy things but to start i want it to be like uh i don't know if it's right to keep an owl here i feel like no uh but yeah to start i want to actually like let people do some some clever kind of deck building i don't know if it's all out but i think it's going to be a fun format the, the biggest thing for me is i want this to be like a sustainable format my my ideal goal would be if we ran this either every week or every two weeks. I'd probably start bi-weekly at first just to... I don't, I don't know how much of like a drain it's going to be. Um, or, or what ideas I'll have or anything. Okay, here's a question before I go more into it. Would it ever be right just to throw out the Sun Fury here? I don't play this deck enough. We've got Put Her. Unless somebody shouts no. To contest. All right, let's try. Thank you for the uh, the advice. I genuinely don't know, um, but yeah, I, I'd like to have it like bi-weekly or weekly or something, because I think classic ladder is going to get very very stale very quickly. And uh, oh, interesting. And I want to have like you know a place for our community where we always have something fresh and exciting to look forward to. Okay, well, let's start with Mortal Coil. Let's do that. Pretty sure Classic Nat Pagel is the under version, isn't it? I forgot to check. Uh, but if it is, I'm shocked it's not ran. OG Peggles OP. It's it's actually not the unnerfed version. I've ran her in a few decks. Um, the unnerfed version was beta, I think. Um, but no, it, it's at the start of your turn. You've got a 50% chance to draw a card, not at the end of your turn, which was the completely broken version. Uh, 
Uh, I'm running a weekly classic league with my friends. It's a big amount of fun. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I like that. I think that's uh, I think that's the way to keep the format fun is to, you know, I think the community's really got to step up and and they've got to do it because. I don't think Blizzard's gonna do it, if I'm being honest. I think you Leroy here. Uh, but let's do this. I think you just have to. Lame, wondering why they have everything but the Nat Pagel as it was. I, so I'm not sure. It could be that my my memory's wrong, but I, I think that that was the beta version of Nat Pagel, and like I think it's the same time as uh, Tink Master Overspark. It used to be like a targetable effect during beta, and then they changed it to be uh, a random minion, because otherwise it was like every deck ran it as potential removal on big stuff. Okay, well, if we shadow flame this, it's gonna clear everything but that. Uh, I wonder if you do tap though, but what are you looking for if you tap? I don't think you do. You're still dead to soul fire and doom guard. Two mana. I don't think we have anything that's worth it. Hmm. Not sure it matters actually. Yeah, I don't honestly remember it. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure, I, but that's what my, my gut tells me. I just remember everything ran OG Pagel. Yeah, Pagel and, and Tink Master. Yeah, we are dead anyway. I have to pull up the cards patch history to see. Yeah. Well, it didn't matter if we tapped or not there. I think we'll do, uh, do at least one more here with Handlock before we switch over to Mage. Just bad draws for both zoos. Yeah, and we did beat the first zoo we played, so. Not horrible. No, it'd be zoo freeze mage. Oof. Just gets more tempting by the second to play. Anything that beats zoo is good. We are going to be going back to that control hunter list just because, I mean, look at how much zoo there is, and it does very well. Handlock can get there as well. Yeah, so far we're 1 and 2 against Zoo. So, pretty small sample size. Uh, yeah, another Hellfire would really help. It's funny, a, a lot of people... Uh, excuse me. A lot of people have been recommending decks, and a lot of times their justifications have been like, oh, this does really well against Miracle Rogue. And every single time they say it, I play no Miracle Rogues. So it'll be like, oh yeah, this this particular list, super good against Rogue. And then I, I'm pretty sure Kagi was saying he had like lots of success against Miracle Rogue with this. And it's like, I haven't played a single one. This is the same, this is the Protoss Mage. Yeah, you just gotta draw right. I think we wanna keep the Owl to silence a Doomsayer. Um, and we beat the only face hunter that we played. The first game was against face hunter, and we actually won. I recommended freeze because it's got a good spread. Just accept the warrior defeats. Yeah, that's just it. It's uh, very playable here, and we haven't been facing like any control warriors. Normally, we don't face many. But we've been facing literally zero, so kind of expect some success with it today. Plus, I, I just like mage. Freeze mage is fun. Other mages are fun. Tempo, control, whatever. Mage is cool. Yeah, combo druid can be everything. <laughs> Combo Druid is just an obnoxious uh, obnoxious deck to play against. What do we do with it? Do we get out the Ancient Watchers? Do we tap? I feel like we tap at this point. We're at 9. 
champ, man. Tom Drew just needs to spin the mana wheel right to win any game on turn five. <laughs> yeah, it's like sure spin the uh, spin the mana wheel, but like you know, eight out of the ten spots on the wheel are gain extra mana somehow. It's a pretty rigged wheel. Again, I don't think I really care about health on the Drake. But I want stuff out. Okay. I think I'm going to do this. And soul fire this. What do we get rid of? It's not great. Definitely didn't want that. But I think... We want to deny draws. One man again, 16 value. That sounds about right. Okay, I'm gonna kill my own guy. I think the draw there is more important. We really need that other owl. Other soul fire. Really want a shadow flame, honestly. Jeez. Oh, we still gotta deny the draw, though. if it matters to run that out. Yeah, there really isn't a lot of face hunter. It's actually pretty refreshing. Uh, I, I didn't mind facing them when uh, we were running warriors so much. Wow, look, this guy dodged the freeze, right? That's how that works. I'm not sure we want to tap now. There's not really much point to getting Leroy out for early damage either. This would just pass. Bunch of damage. Uh, 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 great. Well, we're very, very likely dead to a pyroblast. Even if you tap into a farseer, you're dead. Cool, 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 cool. I think we just accept a death. We could have tapped last turn in hopes of getting like Jaraxxus there or something, but definitely didn't know that that was going to be the case. All right. That was unfun to play, probably unfun to watch. Two, 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 not the greatest. We're, uh, we're going to make the switch. We're going to make the switch to freeze. Uh, here we go. So this list comes from Zarl. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Uh, I'm going to hit the washroom first. Uh, but yeah, when we're back, we're going to freeze mage it up. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Mom. All
Big Dong Mage times? Hey, whatever you say, man. Call Nicole Tony over images for big PP gamers. Oh my. Is that is that what I'm feeling right now? Well, we're gonna celebrate this uh, beginning of Freeze Mage with a, a nice cold, frosty, non-alcoholic beer. How exciting! We've been on a uh, a not drinking spree of like I think almost two months now. But I just, man, I get a hankering for a nice cold beverage, and uh, yeah, this non-alcoholic beer is surprisingly refreshing. Like Gonna have a popsicle just to feel icy? Or is that because you're obsessed with big pee pee? Perhaps I'm reading into this too much. Thirty-one year old man having a popsicle and also big BPs. I don't know, man. It sounds like you're living the life if you ask me. Alright, let me think a bit here. I don't hate Doomsayer. Gotta look at this list for a second. Yeah, okay. Okay, I think I pretty much know what's in it. I don't mind Loot Hoarder Ping. I don't mind Doomsayer. I don't mind a Doomsayer Loot Hoarder. Doomsayer 4 to try and delay is what you do? Alright. Well, you're the deck master. And I remember when I was young, talking about, you know, popsicles and big peepees. I remember being young, and it'd be like after soccer practice, and we'd always go to like the local convenience store, get like these giant fucking popsicles. I don't know if you guys have them in like the States or Europe or whatever, but... It, this company just called Jumbo, I believe. And they were just like massive, like the size of your arm as a kid. And you could spend like hours. It would all melt into the bottom, into that like syrupy goodness. And you would just drink it by the end of it. Oof. Incredible. Alright, now we just win the game, right? Giant fucking popsicle, you had me at hello. Yeah, it's incredible. Cyril was right. Uh, what about delaying with the Doomsayer? Because the problem with uh, the previous turn doing a Doomsayer would have been uh, like he could have just killed it, right? He had seven damage to to pop it. So I don't think it would have helped. Um, did we just Blizzard and the next turn Blizzard Doomsayer just let him like keep drawing? Feels like all we can really do. Next turn you place Big Edwin and you lose. It's possible. You think Blizzard? It's possible. Yeah, I'm not sure. He's already into uh, a lot of his big combo pieces. That's no, alright, you guys can backseat all you want. I think the the only stuff that drives me crazy with backseating is... Uh, like, I, I totally don't mind if people are like, Oh, I would have done this, I would have done that. Because, like, I don't claim to be the best at this game. It's actually just a, a good learning opportunity for me. I think it's got to be Thalmos Blizzard.
I think the only thing that drives me crazy about backseating is is being like emphatic that your move is absolutely better. Like if if you're right, like you missed lethal or something, it's like yeah, that's that's a better play. That's not really backseating. That's just like, you know, hey, pay more attention. You screwed up, kind of thing. Um, but I can't stand if somebody's like, see you, you know, he ended up drawing lethal. You should have played around it. It's like well. But was it the correct play? Like, mathematically, was it, uh, you know, was it the right thing to play around it? Maybe, maybe not. So, yeah, people are really emphatic that something is correct. When it's not obvious, that, that can be one of the few things that gets me. He's had a pretty good go of it. We've got some options. We can Alex draws a heal ourselves, and then we're probably dead. Uh, actually, we're like 99% sure dead, so I think we have to go for the draw. Try to dig into some secrets. Uh, so we can still do novice. Okay. Oh my lord. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Sure does. No way he's got four damage, right? <laughs> Frostbolt face. I, mean, I was considering like an Ice Lance face or something. But, I mean, let's be real. Not having Leroy in the top 26 cards of your deck? What do you think the chances are? Yeah, he had a pretty good draw. We had a uh, not so good draw, but that's okay. Yeah, just the first game anyway. Be more aggressive against Rogue with drawing. I mean, I think we did all the drawing we could, no? Jade Do not keep sound though. But we didn't keep them. I I believe. I believe we did every bit of card draw we possibly could, right? We did an early Loot Hoarder, we did early Arcane Intellect. Yeah, I think we literally played. We did Novice Engineer on two. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else we could do there, Celestials. Kind of wonder if it's a, uh, a mid range list then. Pretty rare to find a face hunter without a one drop. Face! We're so good at this game. Alright, my gut tells me Frostbolt, especially with the Frost Nova. Yeah, now it looks pretty, uh, pretty f face huntery. This is interesting. Double Doomsayer Frost Nova. I feel like, okay. I feel like he's gonna have Owl in the deck. Uh, no guarantee he's got it in his hand. We didn't play anything on turn one, and it's something you'd probably keep. So there's a decent chance he's got the answer to Doomsayer. And if he's got a bow, he just kills it. I think I'd rather just do this and play like two next turn with the potential to follow it up after. Because that could be like five mana, six mana, seven. If we, depending on exactly what we need. But I'm expecting a silence or a kill on this. 
um, if we just run it out here. Oh, I forget who it was you told me. But they like to play their Doomsayers first. I said I was gonna... Gonna start trying it. Because it's more roleplay and thematic. Okay, we can live with that. Yeah, gotta RP it, man. I mean, you could drop the Doomsayer just to like prevent anything from hitting the board, but we just have like no follow up, and we can flame strike next turn. So I don't like it here. Okay, it's not bad. Back to back seating again. Arc on the uh, very talented mage player. I like listening to this. Uh, so I guess we're kind of go for the mill plan. He's got all that shit. A bunch of burst. You got 30 life, 16 barriers. Blah blah blah. blah. And uh, not putting everyone sap after auctioneer is kind of bothy. I want to find for least seven damage. I see him. Play it out. Let him hit, and just take the seven life from it. Okay. I know we're doing this. Oh, I almost want to kill this. I don't think it's right here. Because he's probably going to run something out that we can kill it with. Uh, but yeah, I understand what you're saying, Argon, with the, the list that you had provided me with. It was uh, a really good plan to... What do you call it? To fatigue him. Alright, that's not great. I don't know how we're gonna get him to proc an ice barrier though. Does he have to do this into an Alex basically? Yeah, we could have froze his face to not let him or to, to try to prevent the proc, that's true. Freeze Mage is tough for laddering, but the thing is we uh, previously weren't facing much Hunter. We haven't played Control Warrior in forever. Yeah, I think we're done for. I like probably did have to freeze his face back there. Pretend like we have a third ice block. Alright, that's fine. Only two games, so not uh, not too discouraged with them. All right, it's a different rogue than last time. Let's see if we can put some of that uh, advice into practice. We got some draws early, which I like. Frostbolt's good. Two frostbolts. I'll take it. I feel like it's better to arcane intellect here. 
get us some more options. So we might want to play that on a turn where we can ping it. And if he plays anything out, we can just frostbolt it anyway. Yeah, that's fine. Might as well draw first. Oh, interesting. I feel like we just fireball it. I mean, I certainly don't want to let him uh, spawn a bunch of crap. I guess we can kill anything next turn with a blizzard, though. Still feels right to just shoot it. And now this is where we're getting into the auctioneer turns. Very cool. Very, very cool. The thing is, I don't even know that this is, uh, I, I don't know that this is or isn't Miracle. It's certainly weird. You think pain, pain. See, I was thinking, well, wow, Jesus, see, I just don't know what this is. I was thinking of running out of Doomsayer here. But, like, Engineer Doomsayer pain. Good. Okay. Yeah, could overdraw as well. That's a good point. Let's go with this. I feel like this is good. Uh, I think if we hit, what would it have been on an Acolyte? I think if we play and ping, we'd be up at 8 and he could hit it twice. <laughs> yeah, all those... Very interesting, that weird anti-synergy that he's got there. Yeah, I... I think that that's right. So here, I feel like it's Frostbolt, Ping, and then just drop an Acolyte. No, I don't think I want to play the secret. I don't think I need it yet. I don't even mind if you like Deadly Poison just smacks this thing. Oh my god, Argon tipped $3.33 says, keep your work on. Thank you so much, Argon. That also, uh, that also tests my tipping. You were the first person to, uh, you're the first person to tip anything, so. Great test, thank you, and thank you for the decks and continued watching, man. Yeah, the only thing I don't like about playing the ice block, I'm just looking here, what else we have is, uh, if we'd ever want it for an Antonitis fireball. So we could also Doomsayer here. I feel like a backstab is just not as good. Set up a blizzard.
I'm just gonna throw it out. Got another ice block as well. Probably gonna kill this with some AoE. I think we do just want the card to draw. Fine with that. I'm guessing it just gets backstabbed or something, but if it does eat any damage, great. Shirt sure that it was Pokemon at first, but you see the Bowser now. Yeah, yeah, it's a. Uh, I got it. I think for Christmas or something. Like all the. Do, do I have the thing set up? All all the like original Mario characters. Their their names. Okay, it's another ice block for Antonitis if we need it. Ooh, I like killing them with ping, and I like generating more than one. Fireball. It's a very weird game, though. We can Arcane Intellect into Ice Lances, though. I think we'll do that. There, and then we get the Alex. Okay. Would we ever just drop Doomsayer on an empty board? I feel like maybe you would if I knew what the hell this guy's deck was. Like I don't, I don't know if you're you're right that this is a uh, miracles playing where's Wild though with his auctioneer. Yeah, it's just like a wild pyro tech card, like you said against Zoo or something. And the rest is is there, but well, we can do this for now. It's the slowest rogue I've seen. Yeah, it's 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 slow and he's playing very passive. Yeah, we could get a card milled here if he saps this. Yeah, but I don't think it's the end of the world. You think it's Malagos Rogue? Maybe. Maybe. Just more draw, I mean it. Fine with me. Only problem is I can't. Uh, I can't Antonitis anything. Just Alex again. He could second set, but oh yeah, we could just set up lethal too. He's probably got Farseers though. Would he have cut his Farseers? That seems crazy. Fireball, Pyro, then Pyro. Fireball's Pyro. Everyone just... Yeah, crazy heals with Earthen and Shadow Step. I, I actually don't think it's right to shoot him in the face here. Thing is, 14 cards in his deck. There's not a great chance that he's got Sap. Uh, we've got our second Ice Block, so I'm not really worried about dying. He's either got to like shoot this with a bunch of stuff... Um, and it gives us lots of time to then do it. Um, but yeah, I don't want to run out of steam and, and him do exactly the, the earth and shadow step thing. He probably first since he doesn't have any threats. Yeah, I, I think this is a fine threat. Like I said, the biggest problem is the second sap. But without auctioneer, there's not a, a great chance for him to have it. You like the pyro because then his burst is gone that way? Yeah, I don't know. Looks like it didn't really matter. I mean, somehow Alex is lethal, but probably anything was there. Very strange game. Very, very strange game.
Yeah. I mean, we, we might just be uh, arguing over semantics here. I kind of kind of feel like that game is in the bag no matter what we did. But He was running a really weird list. I, I think, yeah, I think, uh, what, Celestials, you said it? I, I think it could be right that it was Malagos. I do feel like there there was something there, right? There was some wind condition that was probably different than your typical Miracle Rogue that we just never got to see. Hopefully we get him again. All right, we got a Druid. Harvest Golem, I can live with that. We should just hit first. Seems fine. Okay. We do have to start thinking about... Uh, dealing with this. I think I like Frostbolt Ping. I just want to get some stuff off the board. I, I really don't want him to power the wild. Um, it's a little unclear what he's running, if it's the, the later style druid or not. But yeah, he's really trying to flood the board. Probably means either his deck is aggressive or his hands already got combo. And there's a very good chance we're just gonna blizzard next turn. So what does that mean for this turn? We don't wanna pop that immediately. Or maybe shoot this. Cause we can bury our, or arcane intellect. We're likely not dead. The only thing is like, we don't have that many other opportunities to drop the barrier. It's probably right to still draw here. 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. You take a lot of damage if he just plays a Savage Roar. Why don't we just do this? Last time I saw Sun Fury was 2014 when Drew still played Ancient Watcher. Oh, yeah, that's right. Some of these lists did have it. Ancient Watcher back in the day. Bit of an odd inclusion. I've seen it before. Uh, like in Classic, I've definitely seen it. But it is a little strange. Yeah, I really thought he was gonna charge. I guess he might be worried about like Flame Strike. Trying to get out of uh, out of range for that, but I mean we're still a turn away from it, so I feel like the four damage is better for him. Yeah, we do have to stall a bit. This is actually tough for us. Sucks just doing it again. If we do it though, we can Ice Lance to kill this. 
Really not what you want to do though. I'd like to have it for damage and for Antonitis. Yeah, really tough. Okay, but next turn we could potentially get another draw into Frost Nova for this. Thanks, man. Would we ever blast that? I actually think we do. Okay, turns out we did not need to shoot that if we're going to play that. Yeah, player's very impatient today. Okay, I want this out. Three, uh, can we do all that though? No, but that's fine. Or a, no, I still think it's better to just do that. Uh, this one card game is a hurry up emote. I wish Hearthstone had that. Oh my god, everyone would be saying it. Is that that, uh, that Ruin verse? I went and took a look at that on like the, the Steam store. And everyone was like, it's an absolute Hearthstone clone. But just like you said, it was like very nice for free to play players. Okay. Oh, we can blast everything now, but he gets the second half of Cairn, which is not great. Yeah, it is Runeverse. Yeah, Sori was a great emote. What happened to Sori? Well, I don't think there's anything great we can do here. I, um, hmm, I shouldn't say that. If we novice engineer into Frost Nova, there's three, five, seven. No, you still can't put up the barrier. So I think you just have to not play around combo. Ooh, not that. Jesus Christ, what are you doing? So I think you just do this. Yeah, yeah, went with the Than Thanos Flame Strike. I always call him Thanos as well. They remove sorry for being too passive aggressive, but the other emotes are totally fine. Yeah, right? No so this. stupid. Up. Could really use that uh, Frost Nova or Kona Cold. Not bad. Okay. And we could just let him burst us down. Doomsayer Fireball Sylvanas. Ah. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, okay. I like it. I like it. And then we should be good to just Ice Barrier. A little bit greedier. But if he combos, we're not dead. Combo Innervate, we're not dead. Double combo, we are dead. Yeah, that's cool. I wouldn't have seen that. See, that's that's why you listen to backseating. Twitch, Twitch chat. Sometimes very, very smart. Keyword sometimes. Oh, fuck. Well, that's my bad. Definitely didn't consider Rag there. That would have been like a not bad ice block proc too. It would have still been an eight. Yeah. Probably still would have lost, but yeah. That was fire. Was a type of fire, yes. Dead to two swipes, that's true too. Yeah, maybe that was just too greedy. 
Oh, we played this guy before. Oh, this is, uh... Head Honch Crow, is this you? Am I getting, uh... Am I getting mixed up? I am Winter? Yeah, it is. What up? Take my passive-aggressive emotes, then. Too much non-alcoholic beer. That's hilarious. Yeah, these, these matchups are not ideal. But at least that means... Here. Amazing. At least that means uh, Head Honch Crow gets... Get some stars. Squelch. No. You want to see zoos and other stuff like rogues? Yeah, has not been... Uh... I don't know which one's better to play out. Not been on our side too much today, but oh well. We still have like a 5 to 10% chance to win this. Uh, I feel like I'm just going to be mana efficient here. Because, like, the ping against his armor next turn is actually kind of good. Uh, I don't think we need to frostbolt his face or anything. Autoloss. What do you mean? What do you mean? You don't have faith in us uh, generating 12 fireballs from Antonitis? What do we have right now? Nine. We gotta keep the coin. He could make us overdraw here. I am aware of that. But right now... We could at least get like three. Oh, execute, that's fine. Handlock easily beats us. Yeah, we just gotta just gotta go back to handlock then. Maybe we just loot hoarded ping. Honestly, ice block doesn't do shit for us right now. Uh but wait no, because you have to play both of these out. So annoying. Just switched to X mid game. Ah, why didn't I think about that? <laughs> oh, he's nice. Never mind. Yeah, maybe he just felt bad. He's like, Jesus, man. Why would you run out an acolyte? Let me execute it. Um. Take that. Play Blizzard next, we might have to here. Let's see. Already got a barrier up. Maybe early Antonitis and Prey's got no removal. Eh, we did eat one execute. I think I, I want to generate as many fireballs as possible. Um. Yeah, I don't hate the Blizzard play. Would you ever doomsayer with it? Because it could eat a shield slam. But we have a frost nova with it later. Mm -hmm. 15 cards in our deck. Just gonna do that. I don't know. Yeah, 1090 matchup feels dead, man. I agree. I 
think this is it, right? You just... Uh, I mean, he's got enough to kill Antonitis, but you generate three fireballs here. It's perfect if you have one more Ice Lance. You think Nova Doom Loot Hoarder. Thing is, he hasn't drawn that much. Yeah. Nova Doom Loot Hoarder. I like Doomsayer. No, I agree. I actually think that this is good. I think it's very good. Denies one more, uh, one more turn of dropping shit, or it eats removal. If I can get that other ice lance, I actually like my chances a lot better. Uh, you can just play Doomsayer Hoarder and ping. You don't necessarily have to do the uh, the Nova, but I like that this could eat removal. Especially with a second doom, say. Now we've got Gaddon. I would like a Thalanos here. Boy, I would love some spell power. Okay. Like Down us. Oh. Based on the way. Okay, we're doing this. We've got the option of Flame Strike coming up, but I actually like this here. Based on the way that he cleared the Doomsayer the last time, it made it seem like he didn't have. Uh, and execute or a shield slam but we'll see getting will keep his armor down it's true there's a uh, bright side to that okay this looks like shield slam though yeah it's actually not terrible there's the other ice lance though but Flame Strike Ping is also very good. Because the thing is, if you play Antonitis, you generate all these fireballs, he's 100% dead. Uh, Antonitis is 100% dead right after. I think we're going to do this. And then probably just do it next turn, no matter what he does. Just see. I guess if we can, uh, I don't know, but if we can Alex too, I, I suppose we would Alex if we drew it. That belongs in a museum. Oh no. Would you ever wait for Alex? The thing is I've played I've played this game before, and my cards love to be at the bottom of my deck. Yeah, Alex would be amazing. But, like, let's say we play this out, and we just don't get it. I, I think that's correct. I think you do go with Antonitis now. It is not ideal, however. Here's what I can't decide. Do you Ice Lance his face or do you Ice Lance Harrison? Otherwise, how does he kill this? I'm gonna Ice Lance Harrison. Yeah, we might might be able to wait for for Alex anyway. And there's a tiny chance he doesn't die. 
Are we brawling? Because that would be cool. There's the execute. There's like a million and a half armor. Okay. Yeah, if he couldn't have killed him, it would have been amazing. Well, what do we do now that we're completely boned? Um, I think you just get the spell power off of this while you can. It's mostly armor you're getting through anyway. It's fine if he generates two armor off of it. Gets us closer to Alex, and then we've still got 22 burned in our hand. Not looking good, though. I <laughs> could see. Yeah. I mean, we're going to keep going. At least for now. With an Alex, I feel like we're, uh... We're alive. We're not favored, but we're alive. We do have our other ice block, right? Gimme. How do I... How do I play it? Too bad you're not playing rogues. You can't <laughs> prep coin conceive. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me. Oh my god, the other world. So sick. Well, there's our Alex. I think you actually do that. Give him a million more armor. Always what you love to do. Uh, this is actually relevant. Because you can proc it with Grom. Time to fatigue him, except we're yeah, four cards deeper in our deck. I actually think you kill Alex too. Is that wrong though? Um <laughs> He's got twenty twenty-three with Grom. He's just gonna play out a rag soon anyway. I don't even know. Twenty-two, fifteen, twenty. I think you just have to do that. You pretty much need a miracle, and one of those miracles would be Alex hitting his face, like swinging to his face. I'm pretty sure he shield slams it. But there's a chance they're in the bottom eight cards of his deck. And you know what? You kind of got to play for things like that at the moment. <laughs> it's like the first card in his hand. Yeah, BGH too. Yeah. Also true. Well, not real keen on drawing. Alright, he's got less health than he started with. I think we have another fireball in the deck, though. Wasting time in 2021. What am I going to do? Go outside? Yeah, there he is. Amazing. Uh. Are other Cards. Do we have another blizzard? I feel like we do. 
sick burn. Six, nine, eleven. I mean, I just don't think we can do it. Right. Just ping with 17 more turns and then fireball. True. Alright. Yeah. One one way to leave this. Not quite prep coin concede, but uh, it's one way to do it. GG, was that the only control warrior on ladder that, that I faced? Yes, that was the uh, first one, first one in a while, actually. One thing we didn't waste is time. That's uh, the most appropriate cap uh, I think we've had today. Yes, across the. Look at this, though. Yeah. We're killing that. He actually did lose to a freeze mage. He turned nine to Alex and he had no armor smiths. Wow, a sword of justice. Look at this shit. This is awesome. Hmm. Where do you think he's playing on three? It's probably a golem. So I'm just gonna draw. Sword of Dust. Never seen that one played. Yeah, right. See, there's a golem. Yeah, so we'll just one shot this. Not a big fan. I think it is worth it to get this out. We're in the YOLO league now. Yeah, I mean, this guy's still climbing. This is not even a legend player. He's uh, he's shooting for legend. I like seeing weird stuff like this. Yeah, because a lot of times you see, like, in legend, people just do whatever the hell they feel like. And that's fine. This might drop into one health. Let's see. Nope. I mean, the most likely secrets are noble sacrifice. Can't think of. I forget what the two are. There's like repentance and retribution. I don't know. Two R ones. <clears throat> uh. Uh, do we blizzard this? I think so. There's no avenge, so that's cool. Love hitting legend with an off meta deck. I got wild with even mage last month. Yeah, I think it's uh. I, I think it's pretty fun to do. Like it, it was fun doing it with a control hunter this time. Especially, it just like had a good pocket in the meta. I think we'll come back to it for more climbing because I, I do think it'll be very good. Uh, if you think about it, sort of justice, it's just a really crappy wild growth. Has three instead of two, plus one plus one, five turns of extra mana. That's interesting. See, I thought of it as just a really slow blessing of kings. And, and weirdly enough, I was thinking about it today. Because um, it's like plus 5, plus 5 for 3 mana over plus 4, plus 4 for 4. I'm generally not a fan. We probably just intellect and likely ice block here or berry. I think that's fine. 
to try to get classical engine eventually, but no star bonus makes it such a grind. It really is like we we did get it that season with no uh, oh well wow, you know, with no uh, star bonus to begin. This makes me think he could have a divine favor. That's actually worrying. That was a mistake. Not sure what the mistake was, but okay. Does this come back with one health? Cool. I think that's fine. Yeah, just have an 80 plus percent win rate. That easy. Yeah, I think the plan uh, is to do some deck guides for that. Jesus. For that, uh, that hunter list that we played. I know somebody said in the YouTube comments that they just had like a terrible win rate with it. And I think it's like a really good deck, so kind of want to, kind of want to showcase it. What is this secret? Is it eye for an eye? Part of me wants to Alex's face. We can't Frost Nova, but we've got the other Ice Block. You can Antonitis Ice. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Now this this doesn't work with Eye for an Eye, right? I'm not stupid. It's only like literally getting hit. Doesn't matter. Snowball sacrifice anyway. Uh, problems getting a diamond. I didn't play any classic last month, and now I have no star bonus in gold. Yeah, yeah, it's a little, little tough to get there. Don't get me wrong. It's uh, gonna take some time. But it's definitely doable. Okay, we we have to make sure we don't do something really stupid and like kill a leopard gnome uh, when we don't need to. Uh, 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 do we just double fireball now? I think so. It's not really... Like, we could try to be really clever and, like, Frost Nova Ice Lance, but he shouldn't have a way to kill this. Yeah, like, Ice Lance his face, but then, like, a Consecrate Caprakas anyway. I think this is just fine. Right, in the worst case, you like Antonitis Ice Block, throw the next fireball at him, something like that. Uh, well uh, okay. Thanks. Yeah, it's true, you do get win streaks no matter what, which is nice. I think he thinks that that kills us. Police coming to arrest me for drinking beer. That's right, for non-alcoholic beer. Being a, being a little baby. Yeah, we get lots of sirens in the area. Oh, you know what's crazy? The other day, there was a fire outside of our house. So, uh, we're like in an apartment. We're on the seventh floor. Uh, and there's like a river in front of our place. We're like on the riverfront. Um, so, it's generally like it's downtown. Lots of you know sidewalks buildings all that kind of stuff but that's like the one place where there's some some nature there's like parks on on either side and 
you know, lots of trees up and down on the sides of, uh, of the road. This all seems good. I don't know if we keep the fireball, though. It actually feels good against Rogue. Let's do it. Um, and yeah, I, I don't know what happened. If somebody just like threw a, a cigarette butt or it was just like too dry or something like that. But just like alongside the river, there's all these uh, all these firefighters there. And there was just like a, a small fire burning in the bushes. It was like really surprising. The Canadian ghetto. Not quite. Th this area is not bad here. But the uh, the previous area that we used to live was really, really sketchy. It was right next to my office at the time, like literally across the street. Um, but like, yeah, you don't talk about Canadian ghetto. That's about as close as you get. Yeah, of course I got excited about the fire. I I'm, I love like the people watching and I love when bad stuff happens to people. Like I love... Uh, I love watching people fall off their bikes. I love watching, uh, you know, if there's like a, a minor car accident or something. Oh, it's so exciting. Here do we do them, say? No. I think we'll just do that. Sketchy, sketchy can be fun, but that area was actually like sketchy, like genuinely dangerous, sketchy. Lots of crime and uh, yeah, I, I don't know. For me, again, it's like a little less, uh, a little less worrying. But you know, if my girlfriend's out and about, this like tiny woman, then uh, don't don't feel quite as good about it. Uh, he's sitting there with the stick roasting some bread over the fire. Yeah, marshmallows, man. Okay, help me out. Is this, because this is what you guys were saying before, like, doomsayer to deny gadgets in. But, like, is this a time where you would actually do it? Because he's got, like, no coin. He's got to, like, gadgets in, prep, conceal. Me, I feel like I wouldn't do it here. But everyone yelled at me the last time for not doing it on four. So like watching a guy play Freeze Mage in a game against Control Warrior? Ooh, nothing that violent. Nothing that sick and twisted. Just dig for Flame Strike. Yeah, see, I, I feel like I would just draw here as well. But yeah, it, it's fun. Like, just the little... Sometimes you'll see, like, a little kid riding a bike, and then they fall and scrape their knee. Hilarious, right? Or just the way... Like, there's joggers all up and down the pass. Okay, well, here it is. Gadgets in prep, probably conceal. Maybe not. Um, but yeah, the way that people run when they're jogging, oh my god, like, it's hilarious. I just love it. We always call each other if there's, like, a, a hilarious runner along the walkway. want to overdraw with an acolyte. He just played a fan and a backstab though. Is he really going to be able to make me overdraw is the question. Yeah, let's find out. One time I was watching through my window and a mother was teaching her daughter how to roller skate. Just as you look in their direction, the girl fell. It was hilarious. At least coin. I'm thinking the coin is worth it for uh, for Antonidas, but maybe that's too, too greedy. Like, I'm thinking of this as a fireball. And then if something else got milled, it's like, at least it's not a fireball. Yeah, see, it's stuff like that. Very funny. Very, very funny. There's also just tons of cute animals. Okay, I like Doomsayer here. 
Why do you need five fireballs for relic? Because that's 30 damage. Simple math, right? ever situation where you wouldn't like to have five fireballs you know it's funny i played a warrior game where i think i generated like seven or eight fireballs with this one deck and then uh we just like lost the next turn like my whole hand was fireballs and everyone's like you're an idiot you waited too long and it's true i was way 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 too greedy but it was hilarious I think I want to get this out. I don't mind the draw there. Yeah, did the Doomsayer Frost Nova in the right order. I, I did it earlier too. If you can see uh, I was playing a Druid. I started pulling the Frost Nova and then I said, no, no, no. Gotta roll play it correctly. Still have a cone of cold, so it's not like the worst thing ever. Ooh, flame strike. Ooh, doomsay. Ooh, piece of candy. Um, I don't know if it's better to cone of cold and fireball, or if it's better to flame strike. I really don't want to take six damage with like still no secrets here. I kind of feel like Kona Cold Fireball is better. I mean, the plan is to generate more anyway, right? And then we can Flame Strike Ping next turn. Coin Doomsayer? Yeah, I just didn't want the, the Auctioneer on the board. Otherwise, you're completely right. know what's uh what's coming so this is interesting too i don't hate flame strike doomsayer uh just being that he has to deal with it we can still randomly die to three times leroy two times cold blood it's very true but that's always an option i don't feel like it's worth like being too too scared about it right now. So the only thing that sucks about Flame Strike Doomsayer is that when he does deal with it, you still have nothing to deal with that. Like it might buy you seven health, but then question mark. I still like it though. Let's let's try it. Get an ice block, generate a bunch of stuff. Get ice block up. And it might just be dead. As you said, Sakrasta. Uh, if 
Fun, fun, fun. Yikes. Yeah, right. Watch your earthen ring. Yeah, I mean, it was a good earthen ring. I guess, were we dead anyway? 14, 18, 21. Yeah, we should, still would have had like two health. This is supposed to be winning only day? Was it? Did I, did I ever claim that it was winning only day? Wonder if that could be good to keep, but. Honestly, the handlock deck did perform uh, quite well but yeah we haven't been haven't been having much luck with this one let me get that out that's what your fortune cookie said well, I would ask for a refund. Link them my stream. Okay, still not bad. Ooh, another acolyte. I like. Always Misha. Okay, I think we found those frostbolt then. The one one. I don't mind popping the bubble there, getting the draw. I think it's better than than just pinging. for follow-up. I like it. Well, arcane shot, that's fine. I don't think we're at risk of being too greedy with uh, with a barrier here, right? Body's ready for flare. Oh, don't even say it. I forgot that card existed. If he hits the barrier, it's not the worst thing. But if he hit a block, oh my god. Alright, we, we gotta practice now. Oh, it's even a misdirect. I was expecting explosive. Okay. Oh my god, you got me so scared about Flare now. Whatever. Don't have any mage skins. Cadgar's in the shop currently for uh, 1.5k gold. 
yeah, I, I prefer Jaina over um, over Cadgar anyway. Uh, but yeah, I don't think I have like almost any skins. I got Tyronda. That's maybe it. Maybe I've got like one other one. But yeah, I'm I'm good with Jaina for classic. Now I just gotta think if there's yeah, can't trigger your own barriers, right? I gotta think if there's any reason to not Alex his face and to play it safe and Alex ours instead. I just don't think so though, right? Like, I guess Flare is the... That's the one. Whatever. We should be fine. I remember in beta you could play eye for nine Alex yourself to deal 15 to the opponent. Serious? That's how it worked? That's kind of amazing, though. Nice. Easy. Easy peasy. Two changes since then. Alex no longer cancels damage. Yeah, right. Because I, I was asking about that with the eye for an eye against the, the other guy. I was pretty sure it, it didn't work that way. Uh, and you can't trigger secrets on your own turn. Makes sense. Is he winning only? It starts now? I guess it's the timing of your fortune cookie that matters. I don't know if we want to keep this fireball or not. I kind of feel like we do. Right, not too bad. Nice having a turn two play. I've really come to like these novice engineers more than I uh, expected I would in the deck. I know some people run them and some people don't. I think the kind of variations on this that I played before didn't have them. But yeah, it's not bad. I think we do run out the acolyte though, don't we? Maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. This is why we keep fireball. So sick. I don't know why this guy's name bothers me so much. It's like a bastardized version of Brian. Brian. I'll let him keep the spell power for a turn. Why don't they have a charge? Yeah, I'm a little surprised. It, it, there's some argument here not to, because like Frostbolt Ping would kill it. But again, I do feel like the four damage is, uh, is just good there. Oh, well, that's interesting. You conical ping, it sets up a better blizzard in the future. I kind of feel like running on acolytes okay too. Could you set up for a flame strike later? I think I'm actually gonna do that. I know it's only one draw off the acolyte. But I kind of want to let him build a bigger board. Maybe he's a zombie with speech impairment. Or he just like typoed and Blizzard won't let him change his name. Okay, he's used one Innervate. I 
think we just set up for a, for a flame strike. I don't even mind just like freezing all the stuff next turn. Oh, interesting, right? We don't have any pollen marks. Hmm. Oh, that's not bad, though. The more I think about your comments, across the more it's making me laugh. It's one of those jokes that just, like, I don't know, keeps going. It's actually really funny. It's a good chance he silences it anyway. I think you ping this, just in case you end up having to ping it down next turn. And maybe I should have done Clone of Cold instead. Actually, I should have. And I roleplayed incorrectly. So, all kinds of uh, mistakes that turn. Too bad. We actually need the damage from that one on there, and it looks like we're actually gonna have to like shoot this thing down. Unless we just Alex and try to follow up with spells, but it's a little bit difficult. Wow, another one. Would there be any reason to do that? No, he's just gonna like heal out of it. I think this is fine. love using a fireball here. But I wonder if this is just an Alex turn instead. He can proc ice block, which is annoying. Uh, with combo. Hmm. But if you blow this up, you're not dropping anything on the board, and then he's just going to plop down another threat next turn. I think we do it. And tonight is Nova would be so juicy. Yeah. Yeah, it would be. And that's that's why we screwed up. We should have played the Kona Cold earlier. Oh, he's killing Alex. I think it's actually very advantageous for us. Got options. I think this is like the clear play. You can send it all face. But I actually think it's better not to. He might just force the nature to proc the next ice block. Hold on. Does it matter? Maybe I should think more about this. I mean, this is 7 to his face. You ping, it's 10. I guess it does matter. Yeah, maybe you just don't shoot the 5-4. Problem is if he lures, right? You bring him below 10, and he lures. And I don't think he's played lure. 
Anton can keep on punching for five. Oh, uh, Antonitis Frostbolt. That's also a good way to do it. Then you got a body on the board. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. I guess you get the ice block down if you need it anyway. If no si yeah, if if no silence we should be fine. It's really him healing that's kind of a problem and him procking the ice block. I yeah, I don't even think his fireball's magic right now. Looks like he is gonna silence, so. But, I mean, that's fine. We king. We ice black. Should be good. Yeah, he's in trouble. If he gets a lore... Okay, sweet. Yeah, lore, he could have healed up a bit, but... I think we still could have killed him, because I don't think he could have taunted as well. Nice. Good call. Good call, Sigrasta. Okay, I think I'm going to end it there uh, for today. It was fun coming back, trying a couple viewer decks. Appreciate the submissions. Uh, I said it earlier in the stream, but yeah, if anyone wants to make more deck submissions... No guarantee I'm going to play uh, play any of them like in Legend or, or at all if I just don't feel like it. Um, but the Discord is the, the place to do it. I'm accumulating them all there. Uh, no, no, no Encore. <laughs> Sorry, no. Um, but yeah, other than that, I, I think the tentative date for our first Hearthstone tournament is going to be the 29th. And we're probably going to span it across two days, 29th and 30th. Um, details should be announced. Uh, by the end of this week, anyway. Uh, and other than that, I'm looking at making some like deck guides and other other kind of Hearthstone videos to throw up on YouTube as well. So, oh, another one for the win. I see, I see. I took the collapses to to be an encore. Uh, but yeah, in any case, appreciate everyone watching. Uh, all the support, the talk, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. Don't know what we'll be playing. I might go back to that Control Hunter for a bit. Might check out uh, Sakrasta submitted a deck there. Might check that out. But just see what we're feeling tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, in any case, thanks again. And uh, yeah, have a good night, everyone.